What's going on everybody? It is August 17th, 2023, uh, Thursday, day before the weekend. Can't wait to get to the weekend, get that started. Uh, but we got a micro channel coil and a TXV to change out today and a air temp outdoor unit and coil. Um, air temp is made by Nortec, Nordine. I think it's Nortec now. It was Nordine, but um, but yeah, uh, leaky micro channel coil. I wasn't the one to diagnose this, um, but I'm pretty sure it's leaking. For one, it's a micro channel coil, and for two, it's an air temp. So <laughs> uh, yeah, well, let's get into it, guys. All right, guys, we have an air temp straight air conditioner it's got a leaky coil so we're gonna be pulling this coil out it's a micro channel and replacing it with a new one today we've done a ton of these out here these coils are prone to leak and we've been changing them out they've all been under warranty so far so that's been good well let's get busy the one that uh originally diagnosed this one so i'm not sure how much refrigerant it has in it Yeah, I don't, I don't know how much refrigerant it has in it, um, if any at all. So we're gonna find out though. I really need to update my uh, no vent key. It's stripped out or the, the screw's loose or something in it. And sometimes the handle just spins and doesn't, doesn't take them off. And we have a ton of these no vents around here. gonna hook up the gauges and see what else what she's got left in her all right so she does have some 114 standing pressure so not much matter of fact i might even call the guy who diagnosed this just to see if this is refrigerant or nitrogen i'm thinking it's nitrogen because when i hooked when i just bled some off it dropped down pretty quick and didn't stabilize as if it were refrigerant yeah, I open that up, it, it dropped like 12 PSI. So I think it might be nitrogen. But All right, turns out it was just nitrogen. So we're just bleeding that little bit off. And we'll get busy breaking her down. That's good. Don't have to bust out the recovery system. Kenny is off today again. He's got a uh, dual football practice two a days so he'll be doing that um tuesdays and thursdays from here on out and then he goes back to school at the uh um the end of this month real i think they go back like the beginning of september so yep i'm flying solo again all right we're gonna disconnect our our fan here so we're gonna cut this zip tie uh, we're gonna pull this guy here um, this blue guy and orange and then our fan will be disconnected we can take our top right off I'm not a hundred percent positive where this leak was if it was up in this area it wouldn't surprise me but I don't see any big oil stainage so never asked them where it was but the technician that diagnosed it's a good technician so i trust his diagnosis all right we got the cover off we kicked that off to the side um yeah i'm not exactly yeah this is pop riveted but i think a lot of this isn't even screwed in it they use um these clips like uh, slides into a track. I don't know if you can see that there, where that little bit of light shining through. That's a little, um, that's a little tab that flips down. They have there's two on each side. You flip them up, um, and it's pretty much free, uh, aside from the piping. So, mm -hmm. all right, guys, we're about to. I'm gonna unsweat these. I'm gonna unsweat it here and unsweat it down here. Um, I think it'll just be easier that way. I, I think they'll come out pretty easily. Shouldn't have any issues getting those out. 
and I am flowing with nitrogen, guys. I, it's like almost every time I use the torch, someone's like, are you flowing with nitrogen? Yes, I am flowing nitrogen. This is what I'm doing. I'm putting it right through the high side, um, right around. I'll raise it up to the braze section right there. I like to go to the bottom portion of it. You know, you don't, you don't need that much. So it's going to go straight in there, and it's going to dump right out here. So that's what we got. But until then, I'm going to cut it off so I'm not wasting nitrogen. And I'm going to get my torch set up. burnt up the paint a little bit. All right, I got these tabs bent up. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And now uh, this control panel will come off. We can just bend it one way or the other. Came off that side. It should come off this side pretty easily. Should being the key word here. <laughs> All right, I'll fight with this other side. This one side came off, but we'll go ahead and fight with this other side and get her off. All right, here we go. We got her loose. Now this whole thing should come right off. Oh, we still got two uh, screw down there. Probably a screw around the other side too. There's our drill right here. All right, let's take this screw out. We will actually have to take these little things off too because the new one does not come with them. We'll take those off now before we forget about it. Kick them off to the side. All right, let's see if she'll come off now. There she is. send it now I will say when I first grabbed this from the shop this morning first thing I always do press the Schrader and see if there's pressure there was no pressure and I went oh man but then I pressurized it and it's been pressurized for a couple hours now and it's still got pressure so I'm gonna send her because they really do kind of do a crappy job basically this this stem is just pressed into one of these and then they tape it so um, they don't put very much pressure on but they do put some pressure on it but I was just very skeptical when it didn't have any pressure on it um, because I've got them before damaged I pressurized them and I could actually visibly hear the leak so hopefully we're good with this one uh, we'll do a good solid pressure test of course and vacuum but I just don't trust micro channel coils. Just don't trust them at all. 
not even not even brand new from the factory especially when they come they're supposed to be pressurized and they're not yeah, you see what i'm talking about here it's just a valve a stem just shoved into just shoved into um uh, rubber ground a uh, rubber plug all right so we blew that pressure off we'll pull this out of here and get going all right guys we got her all brazed in now good to go here um i also have a txv and a filter dryer for this i got to do and they are inside so um we're gonna Go ahead and hop inside to the air handler or the um the coil get that knocked out all right guys we're in here to the coil now um i that's that sprinkler i was saying i was really close to so there's the txv gonna get her pulled out of there um we got a new one it's all bolt on there the only brazing i have to do is for the filter dryer so here's the new one Still got to lock that guy in place. Um, haven't swept the filter dryer in yet. Um, I'm saving that for last because it is super close to that sprinkler. I mean, we're talking like 18, 20 inches. So wrapped it in a wet rag. <clears throat> wrapped before and after my brazes in wet rags and then put the uh, thermo trap on the filter dryer too, trying to prevent as much as possible. So got it brazed up didn't disturb the sprinkler got out of there we got her on pressure now just over 300 inside went better than expected i did set off the smoke alarm even with all the precautions i took but it is what it is so we're gonna let her sit for a while see what it does and then pull a vacuum all right guys we're pulling a vacuum now got some cleanup to do Got all the covers back on here. Got some wiring to do and then we'll be ready for refrigerant. All right, guys, we are charging up now. It's vacuum pulled for like over an hour. I went to lunch. Um, we only got 39 ounces that the, this thing takes, so it's not that much. We're gonna put that in, then we'll, then we'll see what happens. just over two pounds all right guys we got basically exactly the factory charge in it right now <clears throat> well it's actually almost two and a half pounds two pounds seven ounces so it's on the data plate so we'll let it eat that and see what happens we're only run it for a couple minutes we'll put some of this stuff away and let it eat that and we might have to trim it off a little more all right i haven't added any more but I think I might have to. We'll, we're gonna bring this up to three pounds. We're gonna bring that up to three pounds and see where we're at. All right, there we are, three pounds. We'll let it eat that for a minute and then we'll check back. Probably gonna put this on last because that takes up a lot of space in my truck I, in case I gotta get in and out. And I oh, actually, that will be next to last. This besides me is always the last to go in i'm a very superstitious person and i've ever since i started in this business i was always told it's bad luck to put that away before you're done always make sure your torches are are the very last tool on your truck guys i think we're in there yeah i think we're there looking good all right i'm about to pack this thing up we're gonna get up out of here yeah guys we got that one knocked right out and uh it went pretty good i think uh, the new coil um it was kind of i don't know if it wasn't uh bent properly at the factory but i had a hell of a time getting the panels back on just because it just didn't line up right so the panels lined up weird uh the condenser fan lined up weird but you know i got it i, I ended up getting it i didn't have to drill any new holes or anything but um, you know, we got her taken care of, so another happy customer, another air conditioner uh, back up and running, so we're good there. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Um, don't forget to like the video, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. 
and I got some links down in the comments or some um, and that down in the description some products and stuff good stuff to check out there um, and I got some uh, cash tags down there if you guys feel like donating to the channel I really appreciate all that so almost about to hit 2,000 subscribers so I really appreciate that we appreciate every one of you guys so, all right guys I'm gonna catch you on the next one